See Islamic schools and branches for different schools of thought, see Akita for the concept of the different creeds. In Islam, see Kalam for the concept of theological discourse. Schools of Islamic theology are various Islamic schools and branches in different schools of thought regarding Akita. Creed. According to Muhammad Abu Zara, Qadariya, Jamis, Murji, Ah, Mutazila, Bataniya, Ash, Ari, Maturidi, Athari are the ancient schools of Akita. The main split between Sunni and Shia Islam was initially more political than theological, but over time theological differences have developed. Still, differences in Akita occur as divisions orthogonal to the main divisions in Islam along political or fiqh lines, such that a mutazili might, for example, belong to Jafari, Zaidi or even Hanafi school of jurisprudence. <laughs> Divinity schools in Islam Topic. Akita is an Islamic term meaning creed or belief. Any religious belief system, or creed, can be considered an example of Akita. However this term has taken a significant technical usage in Muslim history and theology, denoting those matters over which Muslims hold conviction. The term is usually translated as theology. Such traditions are divisions orthogonal to sectarian divisions of Islam, and a mutazili may for example, belong to Jafari, Zaidi or even Hanafi school of jurisprudence. One of the earliest systematic theological school to develop, in the mid-8th century, was mu Tazila. It emphasized reason and rational thought, positing that the injunctions of God are accessible to rational thought and inquiry and that the qur. And, albeit the word of God, was created rather than uncreated, which would develop into one of the most contentious questions in Islamic theology. In the 10th century, the Ash Ari school developed as a response to Mu to Zila, leading to the latter's decline. Ash Ari still taught the use of reason in understanding the Quran, but denied the possibility to deduce moral truths by reasoning. This was opposed by the school of Maturidi, which taught that certain moral truths may be found by the use of reason without the aid of revelation. Another point of contention was the relative position of Iman faith, versus Taqwa piety. Such schools of theology are summarized under Ilm al-Kalam, or science of discourse, as opposed to mystical schools who deny that any theological truth may be discovered by means of discourse or reason. Topic. Sunni schools of theology Topic. Sunni Muslims are the largest denomination of Islam and are known as all as Sunnah wal Jama'ah or simply as all as Sunnah. The word Sunni comes from the word Sunnah, which means the teachings and actions or examples of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. Therefore, the term Sunni refers to those who follow or maintain the Sunnah of the prophet Muhammad. The Sunnis believe that Muhammad did not appoint a successor to lead the Muslim Ummah community before his death, and after an initial period of confusion, a group of his most prominent companions gathered and elected Abu Bakr Siddiq, Muhammad's close friend and a father-in-law, as the first caliph of Islam. Sunni Muslims regard the first four caliphs Abu Bakr, Umar ibn al-Khattab, Uthman ibn Affan and Ali ibn Abu Talib as al or the rightly guided caliphs. After the Rashidun, the position turned into a hereditary right and the caliph's role was limited to being a political symbol of Muslim strength and unity. Athari <laughs> Topic. Atherism Arabic, athri textualism, is a movement of Islamic scholars who reject rationalistic Islamic theology kalam in favor of strict textualism in interpreting the Quran. The name is derived from the Arabic word athar, literally meaning remnant, and also referring to a narrative. Their disciples are called the Athariya, or Atharis. For followers of the Athari movement, the clear meaning of the qur. And, and especially the prophetic traditions, has sole authority in matters of belief, and to engage in rational disputation kalam, even if one arrives at the truth, is absolutely forbidden. Atharis engage in an emotal reading of the qur, and, as opposed to one engaged in ta, will, metaphorical interpretation. They do not attempt to conceptualize the meanings of the qur. 
and rationally, and believe that the real meaning should be consigned to God alone. Tafwid. In essence, the meaning has been accepted without asking, how, or by la kaifa. On the other hand, the famous Hanbali scholar Ibn al Jazi states, in Kitab Akbar as Sifat, that Ahmad ibn Hanbal would have been opposed to anthropomorphic interpretations of Qur. Anic texts such as those of al Qadi Abu Ya, La, Ibn Hamid, and Ibn Az Zaghuni. Based on Abu al Faraj ibn al Jazi, S. Criticism of Athari Hanbalis, Muhammad Abu Zara, a professor of Islamic law at Cairo University deduced that Salafi Akita is located somewhere between Ta Tili and Anthropopathy absolute Zahirism in understanding the Tashbi and Qur and in Islam. Absolute Zahirism and total rejection of Tawil are amongst the fundamental characteristics of this new Islamic school of theology. Karamiyya Anthropomorphic Karamiyya was founded by Abu Abd Allah Muhammad b. Karam ibn Karam considered that God was a substance and that he had a body finite in certain directions when he comes into contact with the throne. Ilm al Kalam Ilm al Kalam Arabic, Elm al Kalam literally, science of discourse, usually foreshortened to Kalam and sometimes called Islamic scholastic theology, is an rational undertaking born out of the need to establish and defend the tenets of Islamic faith against doubters and detractors. Ilm al Kalam incorporates Aristotelian reasoning and logic into Islamic theology. A scholar of Kalam is referred to as a mutakalam, plural mutakalaman, as distinguished from philosophers, jurists, and scientists. There are many possible interpretations as to why this discipline was originally called Kalam. One is that the widest controversy in this discipline has been about whether the Word of God, as revealed in the Qur, and can be considered part of God's essence and therefore not created, or whether it was made into words in the normal sense of speech, and is therefore created. Topic <laughs> The Mu Tazila were challenged by Abu al Hasan al Ash Ari, who famously defected from the Mu Tazila and formed the rival Ash Ari school of theology. The Ash Ari school took the opposite position of the Mu Tazila and insisted that truth cannot be known through reason alone. The Ash Ari school further claimed that truth can only be known through revelation. The Ash Ari claimed that without revelation, the unaided human mind would not be able to know if something is good or evil. Today, the Ash Ari school is considered one of the orthodox schools of theology. The Ash Ari school is the basis of the Shafi'i school of jurisprudence, which has supplied it with most of its most famous disciples. The most famous of these are Abul Hasan al-Bahili, Abu Bakr al-Bakalani, al-Juwaini, al-Razi and al-Ghazali. Thus al-Ash'Ari's school became, together with the Maturidi, the main schools reflecting the beliefs of the Sunnah. <laughs> Jamis were the followers of the Islamic theologian Jam bin Safwan who associate himself with al-Harith ibn Siraj. He was an exponent of extreme determinism according to which a man acts only metaphorically in the same way in which the sun acts or does something when it sets. This is the position adopted by the Ash Ari school, which holds that God's omnipotence is absolute and perfect over all creation. <laughs> Topic. The Maturidi school was founded by Abu Mansur al-Maturidi, and is the most popular theological school amongst Muslims, especially in the areas formerly controlled by the Ottomans and the Mughals. Today, the Maturidi school is the position favored by the al al -Rai people of reason, which includes the Hanafi and Maliki schools of fiqh who make up the majority of Muslims. The Maturidi school takes the middle position between the Ash, Ari and Mu. Tazili schools on the questions of knowing truth and free will. 
The maturitas say that the unaided human mind is able to find out that some of the more major sins such as alcohol or murder are evil without the help of revelation, but still maintain that revelation is the ultimate source of knowledge. Additionally, the maturity believe that God created and can control all of his creation, but that he allows humans to make individual decisions and choices for themselves. Mergia Merji ah Arabic, Almerjit is an early Islamic school whose followers are known in English as Merjits or Merji. Ites. Almerjin. The Merjia emerged as a theological school in response to the Karijites on the early question about the relationship between sin and apostasy The Merjia believed that sin did not affect a person's beliefs but rather their piety Therefore, they advocated the idea of delayed judgment, urja. The Merjia maintain that anyone who proclaims the bare minimum of faith must be considered a Muslim, and sin alone cannot cause someone to become a disbeliever kafir. The Merjit opinion would eventually dominate that of the Karijites and become the mainstream opinion in Sunni Islam. The later schools of Sunni theology adopted their stance while form more developed theological schools and concepts. Topic Kaderia is an originally derogatory term designating early Islamic theologians who asserted human beings are ontologically free and have a perfect free will, whose exercise justifies divine punishment and absolving God of responsibility for evil in the world. Their doctrines were adopted by the Mu, Tazilis and rejected by the Ash. Aris. The tension between free will and God's omnipotence was later reconciled by the Maturity School of Theology, which asserted that God grants human beings their agency, but can remove or otherwise alter it at any time. Mu'atezila <inaudible> 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 The first group to pursue this undertaking were the Mu'tazila, who asserted that all truth could be known through reason alone. Mu. Tazili theology originated in the 8th century in Basra when Wasil ibn Adda stormed out of a lesson of Hassan al-Basri following a theological dispute. The Mu Tazila asserted that everything in revelation could be found through rational means alone. The Mu Tazila were heavily influenced by the Greek philosophy they encountered and began to adopt the ideas of Plotinus, whose Neoplatonic theology caused an enormous backlash against them. The political backlash the Mu'atezila faced, as well as the challenge brought forth by new schools of theology caused this group to atrophy and decline into irrelevancy. They are no longer considered an orthodox school of theology by Sunni Muslims. Topic. Ba Hashemiyah was a school of Mu. Tazili thought, rivaling the school of Qadi Abd al-Jabbar, based primarily on the earlier teaching of Abu Hashim al-Juba I, the son of Abu Ali Muhammad al-Juba I Mahakima <laughs> 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 The groups that were seceded from Ali's army in the end of the arbitration incident constituted the branch of Mahakima Arabic. They mainly divided into two major sects called as Karijites and Abadis. Topic: <coughs> The Karijites considered the caliphate of Abu Bakr and Umar to be rightly guided but believed that Uthman ibn Affan had deviated from the path of justice and truth in the last days of his caliphate, and hence was liable to be killed or displaced. They also believed that Ali ibn Abi Talib committed a grave sin when he agreed on the arbitration with Muawiyah. In the Battle of Sifan, Ali acceded to Muawiyah's suggestion to stop the fighting and resort to negotiation. A large portion of Ali S troops who later became the first Karijites refused to concede to that agreement, and they considered that Ali had breached a Qur. Anak verse which states that the decision is only for Allah and 657, which the Karijites interpreted to mean that the outcome of a conflict can only be decided in battle by God and not in negotiations by human beings. 
The Qarijites thus deemed the arbitrators Abu Musa al-Ash'ari and Amr ibn Alas, the leaders who appointed these arbitrators Ali and Muawiyah and all those who agreed on the arbitration all companions of Ali and Muawiyah as Kufar disbelievers, having breached the rules of the Qur. An. They believed that all participants in the Battle of Jamal, including Talha, Zubair both being companions of Muhammad and Aisha had committed a kabira major sin in Islam, Qarijites reject the doctrine of infallibility for the leader of the Muslim community, in contrast to Shi. A but in agreement with Sunnis. Modern-day Islamic scholar Abul Ala Madudi wrote an analysis of Qarijit beliefs, marking a number of differences between Qarijism and Sunni Islam. The Qarijites believed that the act of sinning is analogous to Kufr disbelief and that every grave sinner was regarded as a kafir disbeliever unless he repents. With this argument, they denounced all the above-mentioned Sahaba and even cursed and used abusive language against them. Ordinary Muslims were also declared disbelievers because first, they were not free of sin, secondly they regarded the above-mentioned Sahaba as believers and considered them as religious leaders, even inferring Islamic jurisprudence from the hadith narrated by them. They also believed that it is not a must for the caliph to be from the Quraysh. Any pious Muslim nominated by other Muslims could be an eligible caliph. Additionally, Qarijites believed that obedience to the caliph is binding as long as he is managing the affairs with justice and consultation, but if he deviates, then it becomes obligatory to confront him, demote him and even kill him. Topic: <inaudible> Ibadiyya has some common beliefs overlapping with Ashari, Mu, Tazila, Sunni and some Shi. Topic. Shia schools of theology Topic. Topic. Zaydi Fivers Topic. The Zaydi school of divinity is close to the Mu. Tazilite school. There are a few issues between both schools, most notably the Zaydi doctrine of the Imamate, which is rejected by the Mu. Tazilites. Amongst the Shia, Zaydis are most similar to Sunnis since Zaydism shares similar doctrines and jurisprudential opinions with Sunni scholars. Topic: <laughs> The Bataniya Akita, was originally introduced by Abul Kitab Muhammad ibn Abu Zainab al-Asadi, and later developed by Maimon al-Qadah and his son Abd Allah ibn Maimon for the esoteric interpretation of the Quran. The members of Bataniya may belong to either Ismailis or Twelvers. Imami Ismilis <laughs> The Isma. Ili Imamate differ from Twelvers because they had living Imams or Da. Is for centuries. They followed Isma. Il ibn Jafar, elder brother of Musa al Qadim, as the rightful Imam after his father Yah. Far al Sadiq. The Ismailis believe that whether Imam Ismail did or did not die before Imam Yah. Far, he had passed on the mantle of the Imamate to his son Muhammad ibn Isma. Il al Maktam is the next Imam. Topic. Batini Twelver Akita schools Topic. The followers of Bataniya Twelver Mad. Hab consist of Alevis and Nusairis, who developed their own fiqh system and do not pursue the Yah. Fari jurisprudence. Their combined population is nearly around 1% of world overall Muslim population. Topic. Alevism Topic. Alevis are sometimes categorized as part of Twelver Shia Islam, and sometimes as its own religious tradition, as it has markedly different philosophy, customs, and rituals. They have many Tasawufi characteristics and express belief in the Qur. and in the Twelve Imams, but reject polygamy and accept religious traditions predating Islam, like Turkish shamanism. They are significant in east-central Turkey. They are sometimes considered a Sufi sect, and have an untraditional form of religious leadership that is not scholarship-oriented like other Sunni and Shia groups. Seven to eleven million Alevi people including the other denominations of Twelver Shi. 
ITES live in Anatolia. Topic: <laughs> Alevi Islamic School of Divinity. Topic: In Turkey, Shia Muslim people belong to the Yah Fari jurisprudence Madhab, which tracks back to the sixth Shia Imam Yah. Far al Sadiq, also known as Imam Jafar i Sadiq, are called as the Yah Faris, who belong to Twelver Shia. Although the Alevi Turks are being considered as a part of Twelver Shia Islam, their belief is different from the Yah Fari jurisprudence in conviction. The Alevi Turks has a unique and perplex conviction tracing back to Qaysanites Shia and Karamites which are considered as Gulat Shia. According to Turkish scholar Abdulbaki Galpanerli, the Kizilbash red heads of the 16th century, a religious and political movement in Azerbaijan that helped to establish the Safavid dynasty, were spiritual descendants of the Karamites. Among the members of the Kizilbash Tariqa who are considered as a sub-sect of the Alevis, two figures firstly Abu Muslim Khorasani who assisted Abbasid Caliphate to beat Umayyad Caliphate, but later eliminated and murdered by Caliph al-Mansur, and secondly Babak Khoramdin who incited a rebellion against the Abbasid Caliphate and consequently was killed by Caliph al mu Tazim are highly respected. This belief provides strong clues about their Qaysanites Shia and Karamites origins. In addition, the Safaviya Tariqa leader Ismail I is a highly regarded individual in the belief of Alevi Kizilbash Tariqa, associating them with the Imama Shia Twelver doctrine, conviction of the Twelver Shi'a a Islam. Their Akita theological conviction is based upon a syncretic fic system called as Bataniya Sufism, which incorporates some Karmatian sentiments originally introduced by. Abul Khattab Muhammad ibn Abu Zainab al-Asadi, and later developed by Maimon al-Qada, and his son, Abd Allah ibn Maimon, and Mu'tazila, with a strong belief in the Twelve Imams. Not all of the members believe that the fasting in Ramadan is obligatory although some Alevi Turks performs their fasting duties partially in Ramadan. Some beliefs of shamanism still are common amongst the Kizilbash Alevi Turkish people in villages. On the other hand, the members of Bektashi order have a conviction of Bataniya Ismailism and Harufism, with a strong belief in the Twelve Imams. In conclusion, Kizilbash Alevis are not a part of Jafari jurisprudence fiqh, even though they can be considered as members of different tariqa of Shia Islam, all looks like sub classes of Twelver. Their conviction includes Bataniya Harufism and Sevener Karmatians Ismailism sentiments. They all may be considered as special groups not following the Yah. Fari jurisprudence, like Alawites who are in the class of Gulat Twelver Shia Islam, but a special Bataniya belief somewhat similar to Isma. Alism in their conviction. In conclusion, Twelver branch of Shia Islam Muslim population of Turkey is composed of Mu. Tazila Akita of Yah. Fari jurisprudence Madhab, Bataniya Sufism Akita of Maimon al Kadahi Fiqh of the Alevis, and Sili Akita of Maimon ibn Abul Qasim Sulayman ibn Ahmad ibn at Tabarani Fiqh of the Alawites, who altogether constitutes nearly one third of the whole population of the country. An estimate for the Turkish Alevi population varies between 7 and 11 million. Over 85% of the population, on the other hand, overwhelmingly constitute Maturidi Akita of the Hanafi Fiqh and Ash. Ari Akita of the Shafi. I fic of the Sunni followers. Topic: <inaudible> Akita of Alevi Islam Din Services. Topic: Some of the differences that mark Alevis from Shi. A Islam are the non-observance of the five daily prayers and prostrations. They only bow twice in the presence of their spiritual leader, Ramadan, and the Hajj. They consider the pilgrimage to Mecca an external pretense, the real pilgrimage being internal in one's heart and non-attendance of mosques. Some of their members or subgroups claim that God takes abode in the bodies of the human beings halul, believe in metonpsychosis tanisuk, and consider Islamic law to be not obligatory abaha, similar to antinomianism. Some of the Alevis criticizes the course of Islam as it is being practiced overwhelmingly by more than 99% of Sunni and Shia population. 
They believe that major additions had been implemented during the time of Umayyads, and easily refuse some basic principles on the grounds that they believe it contradicts with the holy book of Islam, namely the Quran. Regular daily salat and fasting in the holy month of Ramadan are officially not accepted by some members of Alevism. Some of their sub-groups like Ishakists and Bektashis, who portrayed themselves as Alevis, neither comprehend the essence of the regular daily salat prayers and fasting in the holy month of Ramadan that is frequently accentuated at many times in Quran, nor admits that these principles constitute the ineluctable foundations of the Din of Islam as they had been laid down by Allah and they had been practiced in an uninterruptible manner during the period of Prophet Muhammad. Furthermore, during the period of Ottoman Empire, Alevis were forbidden to proselytize, and Alevism regenerated itself internally by paternal descent. To prevent penetration by hostile outsiders, the Alevis insisted on strict endogamy which eventually made them into a quasi-ethnic group. Alevi taboos limited interaction with the dominant Sunni political religious center. Excommunication was the ultimate punishment threatening those who married outsiders, cooperated with outsiders economically, or ate with outsiders. It was also forbidden to use the state Sunni courts. Topic: Bactashi Islamic school of divinity the Bektashiya is a Shia Sufi order founded in the 13th century by Haji Bektash Veli, a dervish who escaped Central Asia and found refuge with the Seljuks in Anatolia at the time of the Mongol invasions 1219-23. This order gained a great following in rural areas and it later developed in two branches, the Celebi clan, who claimed to be physical descendants of Haji Bektash Veli, were called Bel Evladlari children of the loins, and became the hereditary spiritual leaders of the rural Alevis, and the Babagan, those faithful to the path, Yal Evladlari, children of the way, who dominated the official Bektashi Sufi order with its elected leadership. Bektashism places much emphasis on the concept of Wadat ul Wujud Wheat Alweed, the unity of being, that was formulated by Ibn Arabi. This has often been labeled as pantheism, although it is a concept closer to panentheism. Bektashism is also heavily permeated with Shiite concepts, such as the marked veneration of Ali, the Twelve Imams, and the ritual commemoration of Ashura marking the Battle of Karbala. The old Persian holiday of Nowruz is celebrated by Bektashis as Imam Ali's birthday. In keeping with the central belief of Wadid ul Wujud the Bektashi see reality contained in Haq Muhammad Ali, a single unified entity. Bektashi do not consider this a form of trinity. There are many other practices and ceremonies that share similarity with other faiths, such as a ritual meal and yearly confession of sins to a Baba Bektashis base their practices and rituals on their non-orthodox and mystical interpretation and understanding of the Quran and the prophetic practice They have no written doctrine specific to them, thus rules and rituals may differ depending on under whose influence one has been taught. Bektashis generally revere Sufi mystics outside of their own order, such as Ibn Arabi, Al-Ghazali and Jalaluddin Rumi who are close in spirit to them. The Bektashi Akita the Bektashi order is a Sufi order and shares much in common with other Islamic mystical movements, such as the need for an experienced spiritual guide, called a Baba in Bektashi parlance, as well as the doctrine of the four gates that must be traversed. The Sharia, religious law, Tariqa, the spiritual path, Hakika, truth, and Marifa, true knowledge. Bektashis hold that the Qur, and has two levels of meaning, an outer zar -zar and an inner baten -baten. They hold the latter to be superior and eternal and this is reflected in their understanding of both the universe and humanity, which is a view that can also be found in Ismailism and Bataniya. Bektashism is also initiatic and members must traverse various levels or ranks as they progress along the spiritual path to the reality. First level members are called Asik's Ashk. They are those who, while not having taken initiation into the order, are nevertheless drawn to it. Following initiation called nasip, one becomes a mahip mib. After some time as a mahip, one can take further vows and become a dervish. The next level above dervish is that of baba. 
The Baba lit. Father is considered to be the head of a tech and qualified to give spiritual guidance or shad arshad. Above the Baba is the rank of Halif Baba or Didi, grandfather. Traditionally there were twelve of these, the most senior being the Dedibaba great -grandfather. The Dedibaba was considered to be the highest ranking authority in the Bektashi order. Traditionally the residence of the Dedibaba was the Pirev the saint. S home, which was located in the shrine of Haji Bektash Wali in the central Anatolian town of Hachibektas Seleucid Karahuyuk. Topic: Idnashariya. Topic: Twelvers believe in twelve imams. The twelfth imam is believed to be in occultation and will appear again just before the Kiyama Islamic view of the Last Judgment. The Shia hadiths include the sayings of the imams. Many Muslims criticize the Shia for certain beliefs and practices, including practices such as the morning of Muharram They are the largest Shia school of thought 93%, predominant in Azerbaijan, Iran, Iraq, Lebanon and Bahrain and have a significant population in Pakistan, India, Afghanistan Kuwait and the eastern province of Saudi Arabia. The Twelver Shia are followers of either the Jaf, Ari or Bataniya Mad, Habs. Topic. Imami Jafaris Topic. Followers of the Jaf Ari Mad Hab are divided into the following subdivisions, all of them are the followers of the theology of Twelvers. Topic. Usulism Topic. The Usuli form the overwhelming majority within the Twelver Shia denomination. They follow a marja i taklid on the subject of taklid and fiqh. They are concentrated in Iran, Pakistan, Azerbaijan, India, Iraq, and Lebanon. Topic: Akbarism. Akbari, similar to Usulis, however, reject ithihad in favor of hadith. Concentrated in Bahrain. Topic: Sheikhism. Topic. Sheikhism is an Islamic religious movement founded by Sheikh Ahmad in the early 19th century Qajar dynasty, Iran, now retaining a minority following in Iran and Iraq. It began from a combination of Sufi and Shia and Akbari doctrines. In the mid-19th century many Sheikhis converted to the Babi and Baha'i religions, which regard Sheikh Ahmad highly. Topic. Gulat Imamis. Topic. Topic. Alawism Topic. Alawites are also called Nusayris, Nusayris, Namiriya or Ansariya. Their Madhab is established by Ibn Nusayr, and their Akita is developed by al Qasibi. They follow Sili Akita of Maimon ibn Abul Qasim Sulayman ibn Ahmad ibn at Tabarani Fiqh of the Alawis. 1,350,000 of them lived in Syria and Lebanon in 1970. It is estimated they are 10 to 12 percent of the population of Syria of 23 millions in 2013. Topic: <laughs> Alawite Islamic School of Divinity. Topic: Alawites consider themselves to be Muslims, although some Sunnis dispute that they are. Alawite doctrine incorporates Gnostic, Neoplatonic, Islamic, Christian and other elements and has, therefore, been described as syncretistic. Their theology is based on a divine triad, or trinity, which is the core of Alawite belief. The triad comprises three emanations of the one God, the supreme aspect or entity called the essence, or the meaning, both being translations of mana, together with two lesser emanations known as his name, ism, or veil, hijab, and his gate, bab. These emanations have manifested themselves in different human forms over several cycles in history, the last cycle of which was as Ali the essence, meaning, Muhammad the name, and Salman the Persian the gate. Alawite belief is summarized in the formula, I turn to the gate, I bow before the name, I adore the meaning. The claim that Alawites believe Ali is a deity has been contested by some scholars as a misrepresentation on the basis that Ali is, in fact, considered an essence or form. 
not a human being, by which believers can grasp God. Alawites also hold that they were originally stars or divine lights that were cast out of heaven through disobedience and must undergo repeated reincarnation or metonpsychosis before returning to heaven. They can be reincarnated as Christians or others through sin and as animals if they become infidels. Alawite beliefs have never been confirmed by their modern religious authorities. Alawites tend to conceal their beliefs due to historical persecution. Some tenets of the faith are secret, known only to a select few, therefore, they have been described as a mystical sect. In addition to Islamic festivals, the Alawites have been reported to celebrate or honor certain Christian festivals such as the birth of Jesus and Palm Sunday. Their most important feast is Eid al-Ghadir. The Alawite Akita Alawites have always described themselves as being Twelver Shi'ite Muslims and have been recognized as such by the prominent Lebanese Shi'ite cleric Musa al Sadr. The Sunni Grand Mufti of Jerusalem Haj Amin al Husseini issued a fatwa recognizing them as part of the Muslim community in the interest of Arab nationalism. However, Athari Sunni modern-day Salafis scholars such as Ibn Kathir a disciple of Ibn Taymiyyah have categorized Alawites as pagans in their writings. Barry Rubin has suggested that Syrian leader Hafiz al-Assad and his son and successor Bashar al-Assad pressed their fellow Alawites to behave like regular Muslims, shedding or at least concealing their distinctive aspects. During the early 1970s a booklet, Al-Alawiyan Shi Atu al al -bayt the Alawites are followers of the household of the Prophet was published, which was signed by numerous Alawi. Men of religion, described the doctrines of the Imami Shia as Alawite. Additionally, there has been a recent movement to unite Alawism and the other branches of Twelver Islam through educational exchange programs in Syria and Qam. Some sources have discussed the sunification of Alawites under the al Assad regime. Joshua Landis, director of the Center for Middle East Studies, writes that Hafiz al-Assad tried to turn Alawites into good read sunified Muslims in exchange for preserving a modicum of secularism and tolerance in society. On the other hand, al-Assad declared the Alawites to be nothing but Twelver Shiites. In a paper, Islamic Education in Syria, Landis wrote that no mention is made in Syrian textbooks controlled by the al-Assad regime of Alawites, Druze, Ismailis or Shia Islam. Islam was presented as a monolithic religion. Ali Suleiman al-Ahmad, chief judge of the Baathist Syrian state, has said Topic. Kazibaslik Topic. Topic. The Kizilbash Akita Topic. Kizilbash and Bektashi Tariqa shared common religious beliefs and practices becoming intermingled as Alevis in spite of many local variations. Isolated from both the Sunni Ottomans and the Twelver Shi'asafavids, Kizilbash and Bektashi developed traditions, practices, and doctrines by the early 17th century which marked them as a closed autonomous religious community. As a result of the immense pressures to conform to Sunni Islam, all members of Alevism developed a tradition of opposition abaha to all forms of external religion. The doctrine of Kizilbashism is well explained in the following poem written by the Sheikh of Safaviyya Tariqa Shah Ism il Khatai. Emendaha nesen h bilv, m men daha nen bilmezim, I don't know any other object. Allah bir memmi lider Allah bir Muhammad alader, Allah is unique Muhammad Ali. Azam Gaurbd Salmazam Azam Gurbit Salmazam, I can't let out my own essence to places far from my homeland. Allah Bir Memmdi Lider Allah Bir Muhammad Alader. Allah is unique Muhammad Ali. Onlar Birder Bir Albdawar Onlar Birder, Bir Olustor, they are unique, a single one, i.e. Hak Muhammad Ali. Yurdan Gwai Nu Albdawar Yurdan Goj Nur Olustor, it's a nur from earth to sky. Dward Yush, Sir Albdaur Dort Gesaid Sir Olustor, it's a mysterious occult secret in every corner of the square. Allah Bir Memmdi Lider Allah Bir Muhammad Alader, Allah is unique Muhammad Ali. Katay Bw Yauda Sirder Katay Bu Yolda Sirder, Katay in this tariqa is a mysterious occult secret. 
Srinwernaler, Ardur Surin Verenler de Erder, those reveal their own secret or private as well. Ada Sirder Gwind Neuerdauer Ada Sirder, Gunner Dor, Secret on Moon, Nur on Day. Allah Bir Memamdi Lider Allah Bir Muhammad Alader. Allah is unique Muhammad Ali. The lines of poetry above may easily be judged as an act of shirk polytheism by the Sunni ulama, but they have a bateni ta will inner explanation in Kizilbishism. Topic: <laughs> Anthropopathy in the history of Gulat Shia. Topic. The belief of incarnation was first emerged in Sabah Iyya, and later some personalities like Muhammad ibn al Hanafiya, Abu Muslim, Sunpad, Ishaq al Turk, al Mukana, Babak Koramdin, Maziar, and Ismail I had become the subject of God incarnates. Ahmadiyya <laughs> The Ahmadis Beliefs are more aligned with the Sunni tradition, such as the five pillars of Islam and the six articles of Islamic faith. Likewise, Ahmadis accept the Qur, and as their holy text, face the Kaaba during prayer, accept the authority of hadiths, reported sayings of and stories about Muhammad, and practice the Sunnah traditions of Muhammad. Ahmadi teachings state that the founders of all the major world religions had divine origins. God was working towards the establishment of Islam as the final religion, because it was the most complete and included all the previous teachings of other religion but they believe that all other religions have gone astray in their present form. The completion and consummation of the development of religion came about with the coming of Muhammad, and that the perfection of the manifestation of Muhammad's prophethood and of the conveyance of his message was destined to occur with the coming of the Mahdi. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community regard Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, who claimed to be the promised Messiah, second coming of Christ, the Mahdi awaited by the Muslims and a subordinate. Prophet to Muhammad whose job was to restore the sharia given to Muhammad by guiding or rallying disenchanted ummah back to Islam and thwart attacks on Islam by its opponents, as the promised one of all religions fulfilling eschatological prophecies found in the scriptures of the Abrahamic religions, as well as Zoroastrianism, the Indian religions, Native American traditions and others. Ahmadi Muslims believe that Ahmad was divinely commissioned as a true reflection of Muhammad prophethood to establish the unity of God and to remind mankind of their duties towards God and God's creation. Topic see also topic List of extinct Shia sects Islamic studies Succession to Muhammad Shia Sunni relations Shiite Crescent Abdal Hamid Khosro Shahi topic References topic, topic External links topic Online fatwa site, Islam question and answer The four Sunni schools of thought Ask Imam, Islam Q&A Online Islamic learning Sufism, Islamic science of spirituality